Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on day six of Monster Mayhem with my review of Werewolf of London. They did the mash. They did the monster. Mayhem. Werewolf of London, which is included inside this Blu-ray set of the Wolfman films, was released in 1935, six years before The Wolfman. It's interesting that it doesn't get nearly as much attention as The Wolfman, and is often forgotten. I guess I sort of get it though, it doesn't have that star power of Lon Chaney Jr. in the iconic role. But even still, Werewolf of London is a really good movie. Botanist Wilfred Glendon travels to Tibet in search of a rare flower. During his expedition, though, he bites off more than he can chew. Or at least, he will. As he makes the discovery for which he came, he is attacked by a werewolf. Of course, this means the curse is passed on, and Wilfred himself will become a werewolf. Ironically, the very same rare flower for which he was searching is said to be the only cure. Without it, though, he will be doomed to take a victim on every full moon. Wilfred returns to London with the rare flower, only to have the buds stolen by someone he met in Tibet. He's not the only werewolf of London, but without that plant, he'll be the only one willing to kill. So, just like An American Werewolf in London, which would be released years and years later, Wilfred attacks on every night of the full moon. The news of the killing spree hits the papers, and Wilfred knows he must lock himself away before he murders again. While Werewolf of London doesn't have that amazing atmosphere that the Wolfman has, it does have a really good setting. There are scenes set inside a zoo, which I really liked. It reminded me of the movie Murders in the Zoo, or even An American Werewolf in London. Cat People is another that comes to mind. I also love the scenes set inside the conservatory. There are meat-eating plants, including Venus flytraps, and another monster-looking plant that eats a frog. The transformation effects in Werewolf of London, like the Wolfman, are really well done. And the characters, although not as iconic as Lon Chaney Jr.'s in the later film, are interesting enough. Oh, and I almost forgot, there are these two older women in Werewolf of London who are absolutely hilarious. They keep whacking the hell out of each other, and coincidentally, one of them is named Mrs. Whack. The scenes featuring them are genuinely, genuinely funny. Werewolf of London is definitely worth a watch, especially if you haven't seen it. It deserves more attention than it receives, despite being outshined by the Wolfman. Have you seen Werewolf of London? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. Don't forget to check back tomorrow for Day 7 of Universal Monster Mayhem. Until then... Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>